Welcome to The Fire Within, coming to you each night at 9 p.m. Central Time. We will rebuild God's temple in each of us while growing the body of Christ. Where two or more agree, you are in our midst. Please extend your hands with us and invite the Holy Spirit into your home as we pray the prayer for Saturday, August 1, 2020. We're going to have a little bit of a different format for the next few days as we had asked the Lord uh, to lead us to a teaching He has. So let me give you a little bit of information about what's going to happen over the next few prayers that we do. They are prayers, yet they are a teaching at the same time. Father, we asked you to teach us yesterday in the prayer the true meaning of meek and lowly of heart. And the Holy Spirit guided me to the Sermon on the Mount. We thank you, Father, for leading us to Jesus, who over the next few prayers will lead us through praying over many things we will need to learn what you wish. I will reference when it is Jesus speaking, or it is an explanation provided by Pastor Jack Hayford through my new King James Version, Spirit-Filled Life Bible, or me saying words of prayers. As has always been the case, the Holy Spirit is the leader and guide for us. Father, all of us in the body of Christ not only submit, surrender, and yield, but we thank you for hearing and answering all our prayers. As we repent and seek forgiveness, we all wish to grow in spiritual maturity. Our hearts and minds are soft, pliable, and open to learning and growing into a more intimate relationship with you, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We are now going to read through Matthew 5, verses 1 through 16, and I will give you all the explanations, the word wealth, the truth and dynamics, and the kingdom dynamics, as stated by Pastor Jack Hayford, because that is what I have been led to do, and I believe that there will be a great deal of prayer and learning for us about what the Lord is calling us to here in 2020, and how we ask and He has answered for any of you that have listened to these prayers, you have heard humility, you have heard obedience, and you have heard prayer. You have heard spiritual growth like never before in 2020, more souls to Christ in 2020. It's all happening that way. While a lot of people see bad out there, all God's led me to see is the good that he is doing with the bad being provided by others, how he exposes it. So let's start with the Beatitudes, chapter 5 in Matthew. And seeing the multitudes, he went up on a mountain. And when he was seated, his disciples came to him. Then he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, and this is Jesus speaking, excuse me, Blessed is the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Pastor Jack says about that, Each beatitude includes a pronouncement of blessing, a description of the ones considered as blessed, and an explanation for the blessing. The poor in spirit are those who recognize their spiritual poverty and casting aside all self-dependence, seek God's grace. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Pastor Jack's explanation, those who mourn are not necessarily people in bereavement, but those who experience the sorrow of repentance. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Meek does not connote weakness, but rather controlled strength. The word carries the ideas of humility and self-discipline. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. What Pastor Jack has to say about that, God is the supreme peacemaker, and his sons follow his example. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Pastor Jack said the cause of persecution is loyalty to righteousness, which Jesus makes very specific in verse 11 coming up and in the book of Luke. Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you 
and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. There are so many words here, blessed, merciful, and pure. The definition as is given by blessed, these are all root words in Greek, indicating large or long duration. The word is an adjective suggesting happy, supremely blessed, a condition in which congratulations are in order. It is a grace word that expresses the special joys and satisfaction granted to the person whom, who experiences salvation. Merciful, to have mercy, compassion for the poor, is a kind, compassionate, sympathetic, merciful, and sensitive word combining tendencies with action. A person with this quality finds outlets for his merciful nature. The English word for it, or charitable, philanthropic, relief, finds its origin in this word. Pure, without blemish, clean, undefiled, pure. The word describes physical cleanliness. Ceremonial, ceremonial purity and ethical purity. Sin pollutes and defiles, but the blood of Jesus washes the stains away. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, said Jesus, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. It says now, the next subtitle is that believers are salt and light as we come to verse 13. And in the back, we are going to go to what verse 13 is all about. Verse 13 is, you are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. So we're going to go to the back here, which is called Truth in Action. Truth in Action would say this. These are what the synoptics would teach, and these are also what the synoptics would invite, and they are by Pastor Jack Hayford. I will tell you that some of these explanations by Pastor Jack are tremendous in opening up the word for us. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go. So what they teach, pursuing holiness, the old covenant called Israel to live distinctly from the nations through holiness, focusing primarily on the external matters of the law. However, Jesus calls his people to a holiness that proceeds from the heart. Holiness is now the outcome of personal loyalty to God and the realization of the fulfilling fruitfulness originally intended for all people. What the synoptics invite is that we recognize that our life has either a positive or negative effect. Live responsibly to bring glory to God. I thank Pastor Jack for the wonderful things that he does through all of these different ways. So as we come to the conclusion here, Pastor Jack talks about peacemaking and reconciliation. Jesus prioritizes the ministry of human reconciliation in this statement showing peacemaking. As the birthright and birth assignment of God's sons and daughters, peace is often hard won. It came at great cost to Jesus, who sacrificed his life that we might have peace. A peacemaker is willing to give up his perceived rights as he pursues a path of seeking and advancing harmony among other individuals, families, and nations, so that they may experience peace through God's love. We can become that kind of peacemaker if we are willing to walk in step with him and allow the Holy Spirit to empower us and pour the love of God into our hearts. In praying the word, Pastor Jack says, Lord, help me to live in this world as salt and light. Let my light shine before others in such a way that they may see my good works and glorify you. The last verse here for today, verses 14 through 16, are this. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify 
your Father in heaven. We want to thank you, Abba, for this lesson taught by the greatest rabbi to ever walk the earth, your Son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, 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 and amen, Father. Please join us in thanking and praising our Almighty God for the lessons that he teaches us and the places that he is taking us. So pray with us the Lord's Prayer. Our Our Father, Father, who who art in heaven, hallowed hallowed be thy name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come, come, thy thy will be done done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Well, we want to thank you for joining us for a prayer revival. We look forward to having you again tomorrow, possibly with a friend or family member to come and pray with us. God, may your spirit flow through us for your glory. Good night.